Hi guys, so today I have a book review video. I have one, two, three, seven books. And some of these books were just okay this time. They were different they were they were mostly all mystery books. That's um the one bag that I the one bag of books I have is just um mystery books mostly. So it's like a comparison, kind of. So let's get right into it. So this one is called Copy, Copy Cat Killing. It's a magical cat's mystery. It's by Sophie Kelly. And this is what it looks like. And this book was just okay. It wasn't that, that great. Um, the cat, the magical cat thing was kind of, I feel like it was weird how like, the like it's just weird to me when like the cats are magical but then there's no other part in the story that's like magic magical you know that type of thing it's kind of weird um this woman thinks her cats can do different things she thinks that they can like go through walls and stuff like that um it never really happened in the book at least i don't think it did like they just said oh like the cat was in this room and now he's in this room like I don't know but um it takes place in a small town and they're working to get um something ready for the library it rained a lot there was flooding and this person dies in the basement and this other person I think this other per yeah this other person dies too and they find out that this person that dies was a person that was like a art person like I think it was he tried to sell fake knockoffs of paintings to people and she tries to go and figure out who did it and why and it was a nice book I really liked it but it was just the the magical cat thing was kind of weird like I would understand if it was like everything in the book was magical and stuff but it was just the cat, so it was kind of weird. It it, it kind of reminded me a little bit of the Cat Who series I like to read. But the cats in that book aren't magical. But it kind of reminded me of that just a little bit. So this book I was really intrigued by. I There was a lot of suspense in this book. It's a two-in-one book. It's a Harlequin book. It's The Canine Unit, Dangerous Memories. It's by Margaret Daly and Carol J. Post. This is what it looks like. The first book is about this woman who, um, she lives in this town where everybody, um, that keeps getting, um, this person keeps blowing up buildings in the town. And here, the one she was in, um, blew up and she, um, she keeps getting these, like, nasty things happening to her, that type of thing. And here it's because the person who um bombed or blew up the buildings was um somebody from her past that did something a long time ago that he never got caught for and she's her and her sister are the only two that know who he is and she doesn't understand that she keeps having like flashbacks to this thing that happened she's like I wasn't there like how do I keep having flashbacks and then she realizes why um, the second book, well, the first book, that was, that was called The Protector's Mission by Margaret Daly. The second one is called Buried Memories. It's by Carol J. Post. Now, this one was, was good, too. This one was this woman, she keeps having these, it's kind of like the same thing. This woman, she keeps having these same things happen to her, whereas these horrible things, like, people are, like, getting into her house, they're leaving her nasty messages, that type of thing, and, um, and then, oh, wait, no, the, f I got to mix it up, this one is the one, the Buried Memories is the one where, um, they, see, they're kind of similar, and it's, this one is the one where, Everything keeps happening to her. All these bad things keep happening to her for no reason. And it all takes place at one point in her life 
with her sister and that type of thing, like I just said. The protector's mission is just, um, she's trying to remember who was the person in the, in the restaurant that blew up that, well, that actually blew up the place, that type of thing. And she's trying to remember, and she finally remembers that's everything. So, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Like, the, the, they, they were really good books. It was just that I got them switched around. Because some of the stuff was kind of similar. And there's dogs in them that help protect her and the women and stuff like that. And they fall in love with the person that owns these dogs. But it was like, it wasn't, it was more on the suspense and mystery type of thing than it was like the romance side, which is good because it's like when you read the Harlequin romance, it's really, 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 really heavy on the romance. At least some of them are. So I might get some of these books again because they were really good. So this book, I don't recommend you read because it has a lot of things in it that would be that are like horrible in real like in today's society um it was written in the 80s like early 80s so that's why but it's called the cheshire cat's eye it's by marcia moeller this is what it looks like there's a lot of things in this book that they say about the african-american people and the gay people that aren't great um it was, that's just what it was, like, it, and so if you, like, have a trigger warning with that, and they, they don't, and the woman, they, the woman, the main character in this book, they don't really treat well either, so this book has, like, trigger warnings in it, um, yeah, I didn't want to read the rest of this book, to be honest, when they started talking about, like, making fun of this one black person, and the gay people, and how they are treating the girl, but, um, if you look past it, that, if they got rid of that part, the book was kind of good, it was, this guy gets murdered in this old Victorian home, where he was part of a, a group that was trying to restore Victorian houses, you know, like those big mansion-like houses you might see, like, in your neighborhood, and so that they don't get demolished, because that so they don't get demolished because that's that's part of their history and this guy dies it's one of her friends and she ends up trying to find out who did it and it was a nice book i like it was one of those books where you think you know who did it and then you don't at the end or like you thought oh yeah it's, it's the same like you're on the same page with the per the, the girl in the book and then that person dies and you're like oh well now i wonder who did it you know that type of thing so, this book, I got at a flea market, and I have a couple of these, so I, there's probably going to be, like, one or two in some of the book review videos when I get back to, when I get back to that bag. Again, I like to rotate in and out, so I'm not reading, like, the same type of books each time. It's called The Mysteries of Lancaster County. It's arson, plain and simple. It's by Kathleen Yub. Barbo, I guess that's how you say her name, and it's by the same company, Guideposts, that makes my favorite series, The Secrets of the Blue Hill Library, and these books, the first book was just okay, this is what it looks like, and it's about these women who own, it's about these sisters who own this store, and they, they're in Lancaster County, and they, I don't think that they, they're Amish, it doesn't say in the book that they're Amish, but this one guy from their childhood, who was Amish, but then he left, he comes back with his wife, and here he wants to see his brother. And when he sees his brother, um, a couple of days later, um, what's happening is, is this person's running around um, burning down people's shops and houses, and they don't know who it was. So, these three girls are trying to figure out who did it, and they, they're blaming it on one person, and then it ends up being another another person, which, it was another thing, too, where, um, you thought, to the same thing, where, like, oh, yeah, it's this person, but then it turns out it's not. It was a good book. I really liked it. It was just hard, because this isn't the first book in the series, 
So, I don't really know if the three sisters are all Amish or if one's not Amish. I don't know. I, like, I don't know. It was just... Excuse me. It was just... It was an okay book. Like, I might have, I have to read a couple more to see if I get into it a lot more. But they're an easy read. They're just like the Blue Hill Library books where the chapters are short. They get to the point. It's not like they put in unnecessary um, storyline and then they don't ever get back to that storyline. This is called, this is a, chill, this is a chili cook-off mystery. It's called Revenge of the Chili Queens. It's by Kylie Logan. That's what it looks like. And in this town in Texas, there were these people named the Chili Queens and they had chili and I don't know if it was like they were helping... I don't know. I don't remember if it's if they were helping, like, the poor people. I don't remember. But anyway, the Chili Queens were, like, the, this group of women in this town. And they have this, they're having this festival for them, like, all week long. And the girl in the book, she is there with her sis, her half-sister. And, um, this book goes in a lot of different directions. Like, there's, a, there's really, there's one surprise in the book that you would not expect at all in this book and basically this guy dies at this festival and nobody knows who he is nobody really um yeah nobody really knows who he is yeah Yeah, nobody really knows who he is. And stuff like that. And she ends up going on the hunt for him. There's um, an authentic Chili Queen um, recipe in the back. And when I started reading this book, all I wanted was chili. Like, I just, it just, it just tasted, it just wanted, like, I just, I like chili too. And it made me want to make it, and I never did, but... It, it just felt like when you were there and they were describing it, you were like, oh, yeah, like, this is something that I would love to have eaten. Sorry, you guys. Like, I've been tired all week, to be honest. Um, I don't know. I've just been tired all week, you guys. Like, I try to wake up at a different time, and then I always just wake up at this time, so I'm tired. So, this is Ghastly ghastly glass it's a renaissance fairy renaissance fair mystery it's by joyce and jim levine this is what it looks like and it's basically this woman who she goes to different renaissance fairs um to research different renaissance things like crafts um people that type of thing because she's working on her phd and when she goes, when she goes to this, to this one, I mean, she, she, yeah, she usually, I think she, she goes to different ones, but this is the one that she usually goes to the most. And this, this guy who's deaf in this, um, the Grim Reaper in this book, he ends up, um, dying and she has to figure out who did it and she thinks it's this one person. And the one thing in this book, and it takes place around Halloween, the one thing I didn't like about this book was every time she goes to one of these renaissance fairs, or this this one in particular, she always ha finds a summer love. So every person, every guy in the book, they say like, oh, I know this guy, we dated, or oh, or the guy, or her, her new boyfriend says, oh, is this a guy that you dated? Like, it just, it just makes the main character out to be... Like, a you-know-what, I'm not gonna say it. But yeah, that was the only annoying part in this book. Um, what else was I gonna say about this book? It, I liked it a little bit. Like, if it didn't, every time, like, a guy comes into the picture, it would be nice if she didn't say, oh, yeah, this I dated this guy. Or her boyfriend says, oh, yeah, like, is this the guy that you dated or whatever? And the other thing, too, I didn't like about that book, this book, too, was that her boyfriend always got jealous all the time, or he got, um, what's the word? See, I'm tired, I can't think straight. Um, 
he got he gets jealous or he gets he overreacts to different things when she's with a guy or something like that um that type of thing so this next book i have is called eggs in purgatory it's by laura childs it's a it's a cackleberry club mystery and this book this author she wrote um I forget what it's called. It says the Tea Shop Mysteries. And I really didn't like those mysteries. I didn't like that whole series. And I don't have any more of those because I really didn't like them. This one is different. This book I actually like. The chapters so far. Um, the chapters are short in this book. There's I think like 36 chapters in this book. And it's three women who they lost their husbands. And they end up opening this cafe called the Cackleberry Club Cafe. And this is what it looks like. And this woman's lawyer, he gets, he dies in his car. And they think that it the one of the women did it because it had he had his food in the car with them, that type of thing. But it was a really good book. I really liked it. I didn't finish the whole book yet, but I wanted to get this done, and yeah, so I'm, it, it's good so far, I really like it, um, it's not, like, I don't know, it's just different, it's a different book, it's just weird how, like, I didn't like the tea shop books, but I like this book, which I didn't think I would, I have, I think, one or two, two more books that go in this series, and I do have one of the other series of books that she does, which is the Scrapbooking Mysteries. I think I have one of those. I'm not sure. So that was my book review video for this month. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.